Hi, it's Raquel with Balloon Splendor, uh, taking you on a tour through my balloon bouquet template. I have three bouquets in my template and they are sized relative to one another, 11 inch, 16 inch, and 24 inch. Um, so what can we do with these? Uh, obviously you can color them in and, and such, but what we're going to talk about today is how to, to modify them. So one of the things that we can do here, I'm going to go ahead and separate I'm going to ungroup it and separate the ribbons out for just a moment. I'm going to group the ribbons and pull them out. Whoops, grab it and pull it out. Grab it and pull it out. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can make it bigger. I selected the bottom two rows. I did a control C and a control V. C for copy, V for paste. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and reposition them a little bit lower and bring this one to the foreground. So now we've got a stacked bouquet that's a little bit bigger. We wanted to go bigger again. You can do the same thing. Control C, Control V, and pull it down. Position it where you want it to be, and pull it forward. So now we've got a nice tall bouquet. So now let's say, I'm going to put my ribbons back down here. So now let's say we want to scale this to, to a room. Um, I have found that scaling things, I'm going to go ahead and regroup that, I found scaling things one inch to one foot to be to make things really easy on the math. So if one inch on my drawing on, in Publisher here represents one foot in reality, then I know an 11 inch balloon is going to be 0.91 inches wide. So here it shows it's 0.8, so I can just uh, pull this out a little bit until it says 0.91. 0.91. So I've got my rulers turned on here. Um, so if you're working in Publisher and you're not seeing the same things I am seeing, you can go to View and you can make sure your rulers are turned on and your sc scratch area is turned on. And then you'll be able to see things also. So we can line these things up here we, to the zero mark or actually any of the marks you want. And I can see that a bouquet of 11 inch balloons is almost two feet wide so that's useful information and if I take it over here okay I can see that from the top balloon to the bottom cluster right here it's just over seven feet so that's all useful information to have too so if you're trying to figure out how to create a balloon wall out of helium filled balloons that that's how you can do some of your your math right there so let's say we want to compare an 11 inch bouquet to a 16 inch bouquet. All right, so I know a 16 inch bouquet, um, I know a 16 inch balloon is going to be 1.33 inches. So it's at 1.11, so I know I need to make it a little bit bigger here. And how do I know that? Because I know 16 inches is 1.33 feet. There we go. And for a 24 inch balloon, obviously 24 inches is 2 feet, so I can go ahead and do the same thing here. I can go ahead and make it to 2 feet. So 20, actually, it would just be 2 inches. Just 2 inches. A little bit more. 2.08 is probably close enough here. Okay, close enough. Anyway. All right, so here we've got, I'm going to go ahead and just for my own sake, I'm going to drop a line here. And that way I know that all of my bouquets are going to be sized at the same size here. Okay, so let's say I want to make them all at seven feet. How many balloons would that take? So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup my 16 inch balloons. I'm going to group my, rib my ribbons set those aside for now and I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the bottom two rows and let's move those into place a little bit better here and pull that one forward okay so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19 11 inch balloons or 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 16 inch balloons that's about the same or seven 24 inch balloons. 
So you can use your job cost sheet and you can figure out your math there. Um, some other considerations here is how wide. If you were trying to make like a 25 foot wall, uh, we know this line 1.78 inches, so you can go ahead and do your math and convert that. That would be about one foot and one and three quarters feet there. Or we can take it here and not drawing real straight today. That is just over two and a half feet wide, whereas this one is probably close to four feet wide, I would suspect. Yep, real close to four feet. Actually, it should be four feet wide. Um, so then you can just obviously do your math that way. Okay, so going back to, I didn't group that one. Going back to uh, building a wall, let's say, um, we know what this costs because we've done our math. So the other thing that we can now go do if you've been getting my templates, is you could compare it to a balloon column. Okay, let's say we were going to do a, a balloon column out of eight inch balloons. Eight inches is uh, two thirds of a foot, so 0.66 feet. So that would be about there. Or if we wanted to do them out of 10 inch balloons, we could do that or we could do them out of even 12 inch balloons. Whatever size balloon you want, you would just do the math and figure that out and uh, you can copy and paste and you can make your column as big or as little as you need it to be and you can do your math that way. Okay, And if you wanted to make it bigger, I just copied and pasted. You know, you can, um, we can group them and you can just grab that and make it a little bit bigger. See, I forgot to do my lock aspect ratio. So, I'm going to delete. I'm going to go in, I'm going to delete one of these. And I'm going to lock it again. Oh, it is locked, okay. And I'm just going to make it bigger. So let's say I wanted to do something like that. And that's nine foot. Let's go eight foot here. And how big does my balloon have to be? Well, 0.92 inches, that's an 11 inch balloon inflated. So, so if you wanted to do an eight foot column with only, I think this is 10 rows, two, four, six, eight, ten 10 rows, these balloons need to be 11 inches. So probably use a 16 inch balloon inflated down to about 11 inches. So you could do your math on that too and see if that's more cost effective for the client to do it that way versus balloon bouquets if you were to try to cover something up. So that's a little bit of my ramblings on how to use some of these templates a little bit differently, not only just for creating uh, designs for your client to select from, but also for you to think about different ways to solve a problem. Um, I should have presented the problem at the beginning. The client wants a balloon wall to hide something. And these would be a couple of different options to consider. Uh, so if you have something you'd like me to demonstrate, uh, please email me at contact at balloonsplendor.com. I'd love to, to help you out. Raquel Porter with Balloon Splendor.